Hello everybody, uh, what's going on? It's Voodoo here. Uh, welcome to another episode of Voodoo's Thoughts. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a couple of months, um, but tonight there is something that I really would like to discuss with you guys. This is episode 13 of Voodoo's Thoughts, and tonight we're not going to be talking about video games. Uh, we're going to be talking about a deeper issue than that, um, sort of a life issue, uh, a, a you know, a humanity issue, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably tonight going to sound like uh, the, the hippie guy, you know, where's the love and, and peace love and why can't we all get along kind of thing. Um, but I have something very important that I want to say, that I want to get off my chest, that I want to, um, to articulate to you guys about something that, I'm, that I feel very strongly about and hopefully you guys will watch this episode and and hopefully take away a good message from it. Uh, that's really what I want to do. I want to take something negative and uh, make it into a positive and, and, you know, give people a good message out of this video. So, something happened tonight that, uh, that kind of set me over the edge and made me um, want to do this video. And by no means is this video specifically directed at this one person. Uh, this is not a hate video, this is not a bash video against this one person, uh, nothing like that. But this one person's actions did kind of send me over the edge and prompt me to make this video tonight. So what happened in a nutshell tonight was uh, a YouTuber by the name of Dead Ryu Crew, um, who is a guy who has been a, a viewer, a follower of my channel for some time now. He's, he's been a long time viewer of my channel, which is why tonight, um, Surprised me even more, I guess, than normal. Um, he's a guy that uh, I have been in contact with for the past couple of months. I have been uh, more than open, accommodating to this guy. He's he's wanted to, to talk with me, to have you know um, a, a friendly relationship with me, which is great. I, you know, I, I love doing that with uh, with people on my channel. He's been such a longtime viewer, you know. That, that's all good, and we've talked on Skype a couple of times, we exchanged numbers, um, I have talked to him multiple of times. Uh, he has his own channel, uh, I think it's called Dead Ryu Crew 15 right now, I'm confused because he's had a couple of different channels and he's changed the name recently. Um, but he left a comment on the latest edition of, episode, of the latest edition of Voodoo's Brew, which was episode 12, where Brandon and I talked about the Xbox One, the press conference that was just held. And uh, it was a pretty hate-filled episode of Voodoo's Brew. We we basically trashed the, 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 the conference, the Xbox One, uh, because Brandon and I felt it was a terrible conference. And really, the consensus among the gaming world right now is that the Xbox One press conference was kind of a gigantic flop. Uh, Sony's stock went way up. There was a poll on Shaq News that... Uh, that showed gauged people's interests in PS4 versus Xbox One before and after the Xbox One conference. PS4's popularity has increased, I believe, something like 10% since the Xbox One conference because the consensus is it wasn't a very good conference. But that all being said, uh, he left a comment basically saying that, uh, you know, because we, we, we kind of bashed the name Xbox One. We thought it was a bad name. It was a stupid name. It didn't make a lot of sense to why, uh, you know, you would call a console that's supposed to be toward the future Xbox One because it makes most people think of the original Xbox. And he basically left a comment saying that, um, the, well, the reason that they named it the Xbox One is because it's bringing all these different things into one console, which is, is obvious. I mean, we all know that that's the reason they named it the Xbox One. Um, and then the last thing is what really set me off. He said, you know, basically in a nutshell, the fact that you guys said you didn't understand why they called it that was a dumb comment. And uh, right off the bat, that was insulting. And then, uh, so I, I, I kind of confronted him on it a little bit. And the conversation went on. You can see this right now on episode 12 of Voodoo's Brew in the comment section. And uh, basically went on to, to call us uh, simple-minded, um, you know, and, and, and was pretty insulting. Now, the issue I have with this, and again, it's not just specifically him, but the issue I'm having is seemingly this pervading notion, this, this culture now um, that people have, people in general have, about 
you know, just not being respectful to one another, um, not being civil to one another, not acting like adults to each other, um, in a multitude of ways, but particularly what I want to focus on tonight is people being horribly disrespectful and insulting the other people when it comes to uh, opinions, when it comes to people having differing opinions about a topic, and how it just seems, and I've seen it all over, mainly on the on the, the DSP channel, the community between his viewers, um, a lot of the times coming from Dark Side Build himself, an issue that I talked heavily on in my last episode of Voodoo's Thoughts when I talked about my current thoughts on DSP, I said one of the biggest problems I had was how he was insulting to people who had different opinions than him. Um, so before I begin, let me preface this by saying that there are certain um, people that have certain particular thoughts that if someone has these opinions about things, you're more than welcome to call them out on it to, uh, you know, to not necessarily be insulting to them, but to tell them, hey, listen, that's not really an opinion. That's just wrong. That's not how life works. That's not how things go. Now, what am I talking about? People who have opinions such as that one race is better than another race or that one gender is a better gender than another, or that, um, you know, the handicapped or the elderly in our society are useless to us and that we should just disregard them because they're useless and they can't contribute to society. Uh, people who have those kind of opinions, you're more than welcome to call them out on it and tell them that they're wrong. Because really, those aren't really opinions in my uh, point of view. They're, they're, they're wrong, okay? Um, it's just not right to believe that, uh, to believe that you're better or that anybody is better than everybody else simply because of how they were born. You know, that's just not right. And, uh, those people who have those kind of opinions, we're disregarding for the, for this episode. Um, because like I said, those kind of opinions and things are wrong. Um, they're not just simple differing of opinions. It's actually wrong, hurtful. Uh, discriminatory opinions that these people have that should be called out and should be uh, criticized for what they are. What I'm going to be talking about in this video is when people have differing opinions on a trivial matter, okay, whether that be um, something as, just as trivial as what we're discussing, whether or not the name of a video game console is a good name, um, whether or not a certain video game is good or bad, all the way up to things, and I can I consider these trivial issues um, to have differing opinions on things such as politics, things such as religion. Um, again, as long as we're not talking about radical extreme religions who believe that they have the right to kill other people. Okay, again, not counting them, but people who have differing opinions on religion. Um, you know, things of that nature. Um, it is not okay to insult someone on a personal level, to call them names, to say hurtful things to them, because they have a differing opinion than you do. Um, it's just not right. And I make a, a, a concerted effort in my everyday life, here on my YouTube channel, um, and I'm sure I've been guilty of it. Everybody is guilty of it from time to time. It happens. Um, but I do the very best I can to always keep in mind that people are going to have different opinions than me. Not everyone's going to think the same as me. And that I should never stoop to insulting someone on a personal level because they don't agree with me about something. Um, I think, you know... And I, I think I have authority to speak on this because I am a very opinionated person. You guys will know if you've been longtime viewers of me. I'm a very opinionated person. Um, I'm very strong in my convictions. I believe very heavily what I believe in. I'm not a fair weather person. Uh, I have an opinion about something and that's my opinion. And I'm very uh, uh, confident in my opinions. Not to say that my mind can't ever be changed or that people can't sway me with, with arguments because certainly I'm open-minded. But when I have an opinion about something, I'm, I'm very outspoken and I'm very strong in believing that opinion. And 
I take a lot of pride, that's one of the things about myself I take a lot of pride in, is the fact that I do have strong opinions, and that at least I believe that, uh, that, that I have the ability to uh, articulate and to elocute my position, uh, my stance, my beliefs to other people um, using good points, uh, using good language, and being able to defend my opinions, to, to back myself up with facts, uh, that type of thing. You know, that's something that I really take a lot of pride in in myself. And, um, you know, I, I love nothing more to engage in intelligent debates with other people who don't have the same opinions as me. When I say intelligent, I mean basically, basically that, not calling each other names, not making it a personal thing. Debating back and forth, trying to convince the other person uh, about your opinion with facts, with things like that. Um, but at the end of the day, leaving it at that, as a differing of opinion and not making it a personal matter. And when I see just this constant, constant uh, negativity, I see all the insulting words that are thrown around on a daily basis um, within what I'm familiar with, which is the video gaming community, um, all the way up to things as big as politics and the government, which is, in my opinion, why they can't ever get anything done, uh, because they're so focused on insulting each other that they don't really have intelligent conversations about things that could progress important issues. Um, I see it, like I said, in the video gaming community between people all the time, uh, on my own channel. Uh, I, I see it happening on DSP's channel, as I mentioned, between his own uh, viewers and between DSP and his viewers or other people um, will hear will, that he will insult people um, such as uh, you know video game review writers and things of that nature um, you know I think a fundamental difference between what he and I will do is if I disagree with a video game review if I don't uh, if I don't basically like I said if I don't agree with it if I don't think it's well done that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to sit there and say, well, I don't agree with this review. I don't think this person really uh, did much research. I don't think this is an objective. I don't think this is an objective piece. Um, I believe it's inaccurate. I think it's misleading. I think it's this and that. Um, the difference is, is that he will take it to the point where he will start calling the person who wrote the articles. Uh, he'll start swearing at them. They're assholes. They're this. They're that. Um, uh, you know, they're, they're just every name in the book calling out the people individually who wrote these articles or did whatever, personal names. I think that's a fundamental difference between he and I. And as I said, I make a concerted effort on my channel to never do that. And if I do it and you guys see me doing it, I want you to call me out on it. And I'm serious. If you see me insulting someone on a personal level because of a differing of opinion, I want you to call me out on it, and if you call me out on it and I look back and see, wow, I did that, I will apologize openly to whoever I insulted. I will apologize and say that's not right, I should not have done that. Um, because it's very important to me, and it's one of the issues in, in life that really gets me going more than anything else, is when people um, just are insulting to other people who think differently than they do. and. Uh, you know, we, we saw it in, in the past in our American history with, uh, with um, you know, with civil rights, with women's rights. Uh, now the hot topic of today is uh, um, homosexual rights and things of that nature. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I, I don't understand this vitriol this hatred, these personal insults that get thrown around because people happen to think differently or have different opinions than somebody else, you know. We have, for the people, for the, for the viewers in the United States who are watching this, we have the, the blessing of living in a country where we have a constitution that gives us the right to free speech, that we're allowed to have, we're, we're, we're free to think and we have the right in this country to think whatever we want to think um, as long as it's not as long as we're not causing physical harm to another person and that's the great thing about living in the US is that 
and I know we're not the only country, I mean, uh, you know, that, that, that has this, but what I'm saying is that it's great for me because I live in this country that I have the ability to think what I want, to sit here with a camera in front of me and say what I, whatever I want to say as long as I don't threaten people in front of this camera and, you know, it's in my legal rights to do that. And it's great because everyone in this country has the ability to have their own opinions, to have their own mindset, to formulate their own ideas. That's what makes us unique. That's what separates me from you, from everybody else, is no two people think exactly the same thing about every single topic. And instead of insulting everybody, insulting each other for differing opinions, I think that should be something that should be celebrated and that we should open our eyes and recognize the fact that we have this great opportunity here where we don't have to be brainwashed. There's countries in this world that don't have the freedom to have their own opinions. They're not allowed to have their own thoughts. They get brainwashed by their governments and they all have, they have to think the same thing or they get punished. Okay? We have an opportunity here in this country and in you know, other places around the world, other countries, that we can free think and we can have our own opinions and I think that that should be looked at as a good thing, as a healthy thing, as a beautiful thing rather than turning that into an insulting, uh, hate-driven kind of environment where people who have different opinions are, are encouraged to not voice them. You know, pe it, people, are, are, people are made to feel um, scared about expressing different opinions because they'll get insulted or they'll get ostracized or they'll get um, made fun of or called names simply because they think a certain way. And I think it's wrong. I think that we need to move on as a, as a race of human beings. Um, I think everyone on the planet should should obviously have the right to, to, to think freely as long as you're not imposing on anyone else's rights and as long as you're not hurting them or, uh, you know, doing something that, that, that hurts or infringes upon another human being, we should all be able to have these opinions. And as I said, in this country, we're lucky enough to have that and to insult people and to call them names and to bash them and all this other stuff for simply having differing thoughts is just, to me, unimaginable. And, uh, and I don't understand it and I don't know why people do it, but it seems the run of the day, everyday norm on the internet, um, when people can hide behind their computers, they don't have to look each other in the eye. They can hide behind their computers and say these insulting things, um, you know, to each other, uh, behind, behind the, you know, the anonymity of their computer. They don't have to face them. Um, and, and even in real life, when people do face one another, a lot of times, it's still the same story. People still insult other people and, uh, and you know, for, for, for something they like to do or something they think. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I think that really if people would be more accepting and people would stop all the, the, the hate and the insults and the name calling about differing opinions, the world would be a happier place and people would be less angry all the time. That people would walk around happier uh, instead of always being angry and you know, having this hate in them uh, for other people who have different opinions on things that really in the end don't matter. They don't affect your life. They don't, uh, they don't hurt you. They don't infringe upon you. If, if you know, um, if you simply don't like someone else's opinion on something, then don't talk to them about that topic or just don't, if, if they're that different than you, they're that radically different from you and you don't like that, don't be friends with them. Don't associate with them, but there's no need to throw around insults. There's no need to throw around things such as calling people dumb, simple-minded. Again, this is not a, a, a video bashing uh, Dead Ryu Crew. I'm just using this as an example. Um, there's no reason for it. it. There's just no reason. And I've always encouraged healthy debate, um, adult debate on the comments of all of my videos. I've always said if you have a different opinion than me, I would love for you to express that in, in, in an eloquent, and adult manner, and I would love to have a conversation with somebody, I mean, I would love that. If you have a differing opinion than me, and you want to talk to me about it, you want to have a civilized discussion about it, um, feel free to write me a message. Write me a private message on YouTube. Leave me a comment and a video. Heck, you want to have a real uh, discussion about it? 
send me your Skype name and I'll be more than happy to sit and Skype with you and talk with you face to face um, in an adult eloquent manner uh, about a certain topic. I mean, I, I have always encouraged that on my channel. I want it to be encouraged. But what I don't want is I don't want insults, I don't want name calling, and I don't want vitriol uh, between people, uh, between viewers of mine or directed at me or me directed at you because we share different opinions. Okay, I don't ever want that to happen and I don't want that to be uh, the kind of environment created on my channel. Um, so let me check my time before we wrap up here. Uh, good length video. Good, good length uh, rant, I guess, really. Um, but last thing I want to close off with is that basically, I'm saying it right now, uh, I don't want that to be the atmosphere on my channel. So if you leave comments on my videos directed at me, directed at each other, um, that are insulting and name calling because, uh, because of a trivial thing, because of a difference in opinion, or somebody likes a game, somebody doesn't like a game, somebody likes this console, somebody likes this console. If I see name calling and nastiness and hate going on between people, I'm going to put a stop to it. I'm going to comment, I'm going to say, I don't appreciate it, stop it, knock it off. And if it continues, I'm just going to block people. And I don't, listen, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have a reputation. I haven't blocked it. I can't even, I don't even remember the last time I blocked anybody from my YouTube page. It's been definitely over a year. I can't remember the last time. And I don't plan on blocking anybody in the near future. I have nobody that I will block. But um, if stuff like that happens on my channel and it happens repeatedly, um, people are going to start getting blocked because I don't, I don't want it on my channel. I, I just don't. It's insulting, it's unnecessary, and it creates an environment that I don't want surrounding me or surrounding my channel because I want positive stuff on my channel. If you have a, a beef with me about uh, you don't like how I play a game, you don't like that I said this, you don't like that, please, by all means, feel free to let me know. But do so in an intelligent, adult manner that's not insulting, that's not name calling, or anything like that. And I would be more than pleased to speak with any one of you, any one of you face to face about something that you don't want, that you, you want to call me out on, you don't like something that I do, you don't do, I am more than willing, I'm saying it right now, it's on the record, more than willing to speak with you however you want, comment, message, Skype, whatever, about your issue, um, as long as it is in an adult uh, manner that is, that is, uh, you know, that is not vitriolic, it's not name calling or anything like that, because if it is like that, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not going to speak with you. I'm not going to have a conversation with you. If you can't be adult and you can't, um, you can't behave yourself and, and stop uh, being insulting and rude. So that's kind of the deal. So any problems you got with me, you got a problem with me, don't say it behind my back. Don't, uh, you know, don't, don't feel like you can't talk to me about it. Come to me. Talk to me. More than welcome to talk to you. Um, as long as it's an adult manner. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, so please, I urge everybody, and I know that it's going to continue. I know that it's going to keep happening because I can't change the world all by myself. I can, I can hopefully, people, like I said, hopefully people will watch this and leave with a good message after watching this video and have a more positive attitude. Um, but please be positive. Have good positive energy on, on the channel. Uh, and in your own personal lives as well, not just on my channel, but in your own lives as well, be positive, um, embrace other people's opinions, embrace other people's ideas, even though that they that many times they won't agree with your own, uh, and learn how to have insightful, progressive, adult, enlightened conversations uh, that actually lead somewhere instead of lead to personal insults and hatred. And I think that you'll find that you'll be a lot happier and that the world really in general will be a happier and better place um, because anytime that there's less anger and less hate, uh, there's going to be, you know, it, it's going to be a lot happier and a lot, uh, uh, a lot brighter for you. And, uh, and that's what I want to create on the channel. So that's it, guys. That's all I have to say. I know this was kind of a deep episode. 
um, but it's something that's really important to me that I really wanted to get off my chest and I hope that I was able to elocute uh, my thoughts and feelings to you uh, in a clear and concise way and I hope like I said that everybody watches this and leaves with a good positive message and uh, and we can have good debates on our channel uh, on my channel and uh, and we don't have to be insulting we don't have to do anything like this in the future uh, you know because I'm not gonna deal with it and I'm just gonna put up the wall and say I'm not talking to you I'm not dealing with it unless you can come to me like an adult and that goes for anybody anybody out there who's watching all right so thanks guys I'm voodoo 51292 this has been another episode of voodoo's thoughts hope you enjoyed it again thank you guys for watching and once again if you have any uh, thoughts, anything you'd like to share with me in the comments of this video, please go right ahead and leave them. But keep it uh, keep it clean and adult. And I appreciate it, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again real soon on another episode of Voodoo's Thoughts. Peace out.